Hello, today we are talking with type rating students. Hello, what is your name and where do you come from? My name is Jürgen Auer, I'm from Austria and my age is 37. When and how did you decide to become a pilot? I would say it's seriously deciding uh, at the age 14, 15, when you really know uh, what progress, what school uh, is coming up and the education and everything and um, that your way is going in the direction you know afterwards finishing school making the first licenses I got a good support from the family wise because uh, my grandfathers they flew my father was an instructor and everybody was flying it was not a must but all the atmosphere behind made me actually going this way into a direction becoming a pilot and um, my childhood was hopefully a, a, it was a very good one and I grew up actually more or less on some airfields between glider aircrafts and so it was always some positive uh, conjunction with flying together and that made me coming back to the flight aviation after I was 18 and then starting over with my rest of my experience I got now. What challenges have you faced along the way here? The most challenges are regarding the economy wise because there have to be a demand on pilots you have to have the possibility either to pay your rating or go to, go to an airline to get the type rating paid for you and of course you are then afterwards uh, you have to stay on the contract at least for some years otherwise you have to pay everything back so it's a matter of, of demand and money and those are the most challenges what kind of flying experience did you have prior to coming here um, started with glider flying that was private then I went to the military, some hours on the helicopter. From the helicopter I changed to 737 with Laudia in Austria. So flying mainly charter for the first 3,500 hours. And afterwards I decided to go on the long range. So I went to Luxembourg, Cargolux Airlines, which is a cargo airline on the 747400. And I flew there for another 2,500 hours. And due to family changes in family life, I try to get back a better roster, a better schedule for my life, half-half. So I changed to business aviation and got my first command hours there. So altogether, I'm standing here with a little bit more than 7,000 hours. How did it happen that you chose type rating course and why did you choose this program? It was a decision made because of the demand uh, of pilots in the next uh, years which is also depending on the Airbuses that will be delivered in Asia and all around the, the world actually and Airbus is leading it at, at the moment and the good thing with the Airbus rating with one type rating with a short conversion course you can have uh, more type ratings in one and that gives you more possibilities to be flexible flexible afterwards and have a better possibility to change jobs and to have a safe job in a good position. Could you describe the best way of how to choose the right one? I would evaluate the, the market, the demand, the demand on pilots and the demand on pilots in which region of the world, where you want to live, where you want to work and on this you should choose your type rating, uh, which is really an important uh, decision to make. What were the main reasons why did you choose Baltic Aviation Academy? It's a uh, quality and price and of course the location should be not far away. So all the infrastructure should be fine. Also for uh, in between after study you have to have a nice leisure life also beside because you need to shut off your, your head a little bit and go for a gym, a run, a nice uh, steak in the evening, something like that. So altogether the Vilnius was, was perfect for me. Since when you are in Lithuania and what was the first impression after the first day in Baltic Aviation Academy? I knew Riga and I know it, it's different to other Eastern countries and I like it very much here because of the mentality, the open mentality and everybody's really happy and know how to party also but also uh, being serious in studying and uh, give you the knowledge you need for the type rating. How many flying hours you already have? Uh, more than 7,000. What is your vision of the future? How do you see yourself in the 5-10 years period? Um, 
I'm a type rating instructor right now for some type, so I hope I'm getting my type rating instructor and examiner also for the Airbus. And being a more experienced Airbus captain than now, just starting to fly the Airbus, and being in a nice company, a nice environment, I like to be where everything is. Uh, it is a good, uh, good thing actually, from salary-wise, free time, family life and all this stuff. Are you planning to get the qualifications for other types of aircraft? Actually, not a lot because I flew Boeing, the small and wide body aircraft. I flew business aviation and helicopter. I flew gliders, so maybe there are some types I'm getting interested in. Maybe a 380 or uh, an Airbus 350 coming out, but we'll see. And are you planning to come back to Baltic Aviation Academy? Of course, of course. Thank you for the conversation and good luck in the future. Thank you very much.